Johnny, congratulations on the win. Uh, another quick one. How good did it feel out to go out there and uh, get another quick finish? Uh, honestly, I'm a little bit disappointed. Um, it's not. It didn't go the way I wanted it to go. Um, I wanted to land some uh, bigger shots, uh, put on a little bit longer of a show. And I mean, if it ends that quick, I want it to end like uh, my Daniel Madrid knockout or something like that. You know what I mean? Um, I did land some heavy shots, but uh, not ideal for me. And I guess would that just be like, oh, it wasn't you know head kick or like something crazy where the guy went out or? Where I like literally send somebody to like the metaverse. I'm trying to send people to the metaverse instead of the shadow room. I think the shadow room is getting kind of like uh, clogged up, so I switch to the metaverse. I'm trying to send motherfuckers there. And I guess uh, were you kind of surprised that things played out the way that they did? Did you feel like you would be able to overpower him that that quickly? I thought I would be able to overpower him. I just didn't think. Uh, it would end that way. I don't, I don't know how to explain it. Um, it, it was weird to me. I, I, I don't know. We were kind of saying the same thing back here. The stoppage, the ending sequence was kind of odd. Like you, you got him down, then you got him up, and he was just kind of turning yeah. away. Yeah, I was trying to let him up to, yeah. so I could like do something spectacular. But yeah, I don't know, man. It just didn't play out like how I wanted it to, I guess. And this is usually the point in the interview where I'd ask you who you want next, but you've already kind of let that be yeah. known. Uh, can you just talk about that a little bit more, John Salter? Why? Well, uh, I had my heart set on that fight. I signed to fight him at, uh, at the Hard Rock in Florida. I, I was gearing up for that fight, and he ended up pulling out. I don't know if he was actually hurt, if he's scared to fight me. I really don't give a shit. Um, I just want to put on a great performance and fight a, a good fighter like John Salter and uh, put, him, put him away. Thanks, man. Congratulations. That was an un unbelievable performance. I don't know why being hard on yourself. Uh, you're talking about John Salter as the next opponent. You're saying that he might be scared. Different circumstances might happen. Is there a backup plan? Like, I want, if not him, Scott, give me this guy. Uh, I don't really care. I, I, I signed to fight John. That was the first bout agreement I signed, and I had my heart set on that uh, fight. Like, I was, I was geared up. I was, I was happy to take that fight. Um, I also signed to fight uh, Mike Shipman. He's number seven. Uh, bro, I'm a, I'm a professional fighter. I got into this business to fight people. So if you line somebody up in front of me, I'm gonna fight them. You gotta just pay me a good amount of money. And uh, if there's a belt on the line, that's a, that's a plus. So obviously you're a wrestler, but you're knocking everybody out. What kind of statement do you think you make into the wrestling division? Uh, excuse me, could you say that again? I said, obviously you come from a wrestling background, yeah. but you're knocking everybody out. So what kind of statement do you think you make into the wrestling division? That Johnny Eblen has some diamond hands, bro. <laughs> I'm just polishing up these hands and they're putting people away, man. Hey, Johnny, you know, another day, another dollar, right? But yeah. for you, you know, you come in with a new nickname. You wanted to showcase the diamond hands, but you couldn't. Uh, you know, you're capping off the year. You, you're on a great run. Looking forward to 2022. If Salt, you know, with Salt is there, like, when, when is the earliest you can fight? I can fight tomorrow, bro. I'm ready to fight all the time, man. I honestly, my favorite day is sparring because it's the closest to a fight. The only thing that they need to add is, uh, you know, if I could get paid for sparring like that, and then like some people are watching. I mean, some people at the gym like to watch my rounds. And it's fun like that. Do I just like, like putting on a show and showing my uh, skill set? So uh, tomorrow, next week, a month from now, I'm always ready to fight. Uh, and yeah, other than that, you know, it's the holiday season. Do you look forward to anything in, for Christmas? Nah, nothing really. <laughs> just uh, honestly, ready to t take a little bit of time off. Had a long camp. Um, but hey, if there's a fight that pops up in between that, I'll, I'll, I'll gladly take that. Just rest. I had a great camp. I'm in shape. I'm resting, just chilling, and someone called me up next week to fight. And I haven't done shit but like hang out and eat. I usually keep my weight down. Man, I, I'll gear up and go. I don't care. Congratulations on your victory tonight. I know, you know you're a little disappointed at how quickly it went, but in the grand scheme of things, are you almost happy it went that quickly because now you can just turn around with a W behind you? Yeah, for sure. There, there's uh, there's positives I can take away from this. Um, I just, I'm, I'm just disappointed because it's, uh, I mean, it was a good performance, but it's not a performance that I particularly wanted to put forth. Um, I really wanted to put that dude away, um, and the fans probably wanted to see me put that dude away. So. So the other day we were talking about your new nickname and how it's actually uh, a crypto term. Yeah. So how much of your purse is going to go right back into crypto money tonight? I don't know. I'm going to have to run the numbers, see, see how much money I need to put uh, put aside for that. But uh, actually, I think I might be changing my nickname to the human cheat code because, <laughs> bruh, I'm good on all levels. I got the stamina. I got power. I can wrestle. I can grapple. Uh, 
BJJ, I can strike. Man, I got everything. I got the speed too, I got the speed. Can't forget the speed. Oh, and I got rhythm. I'm a, I'm a white Asian with some rhythm. I'll tell you that much. So, uh, Johnny, I know that you're, you're being hard on yourself with this performance. Can you just tell us what you would want to do more? Did you want the fight to go on longer? Did you want the, a different type of finish? Just tell us more about what you want to do differently. Honestly, I wish I could have just spent more time in the cage and just showcase my skills longer. Um, but it is what it is. It happened. I'm kind of over it now. Hey, Johnny. sets I haven't even shown yet. Um, that's why they call me the human cheat code, bro. Mo gets to see me in and out every day at camp, and he sees what I put forth, man. It's it's insane. I just can't wait to put it on in that cage. Mic drop. <laughs> All right. Hold on. Call from the Zoom here, Johnny. Oh, damn. We got calls now. Yeah. Yeah. Kobe, <laughs> go ahead. I was about to mic drop and leave. Hi, Johnny. Violent performance. Awesome to watch you fight in the cage as usual. Uh, is there anyone at middleweight that can match with you on the on the match when it comes to wrestling? Uh, with wrestling? With wrestling, particularly. I feel like I'm the best wrestler in the division, personally. Yeah, I think you are. And if you do fight Salter, how long is that fight going to last? <laughs> as long as I want it to, bro. As long as I want it to. <laughs> right on, man. Looking forward to it. Yeah.